Hey Dan, why don't you tell us about sketchable journals? I can do that. Today we're going to learn about sketchable journals. Where are they, how do we use them, and why do we need them? This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator and I'm here to walk you through the sketchable journals. Let's get started by opening Sketchable. The first time you download Sketchable and open it, this is the screen that you're going to get. What I suggest is that we go ahead and click on the sketchbook on the left hand side of the screen. It'll take us out of the page and into the sketchbook. And before we start exploring the actual sketchable journal, which we call it sketchbook, is uh, we'll keep going all the way out to where in the journal selection menu. And what that means is that we have a sketchable journal sitting right here on our screen and a list of menus on the bottom. And we wanna go ahead and check out what these menus are. The first icon on the list is to add a journal. So we can always add a blank journal by clicking on that plus journal. The second icon shows us the information about the journal that we're selected on, the main journal that's in the middle of the screen. In this case, it shows us it is distressed leather and we can always change whatever size we want, whatever style of cover that we want. It shows us the default paper. So if I scroll around, I'll find the default paper. There it is. And so it's concrete, 600 by 600 pixels. Each of them are all gonna have a different size, a different grain, name and size that we can always adjust once we're in the page. And then it'll show me the resolution, the DPI, and when it was created. And, uh, and last modified, uh, yes, uh, today, 2020. The next icon is gonna be to delete a journal. We're not gonna do that this time around. The second, the, uh, the fourth icon is to import a journal. And in this case, I can click on the import and then pick one out. Let's see, let's get this draw in here. Boom, there it is. And look, I have another sketchbook or journal. And then the last uh, icon that we're going to use is the save an archive of the journal that you have selected. And so if I wanted a copy of the sketchable journal, which you can see I already have one here, then I can then export it and save it into my computer. The benefit of saving journals into your computer is that then you can transfer them, move them around into another computer. And in my case, I have several surfaces. So sometimes I wanna work on one surface and I need that file. I want to work with that sketch that I started in a different computer and I wanna just go ahead and move it around. So that's a big benefit in how Sketchable has formatted their journals for us to be able to use them anytime we want, move them around, and of course, delete them. Once you get to a point where you're like, you know what, since I'm not gonna use it, uh, I, or I actually I already saved it and I don't want it, I'll go ahead and get back out and then hit delete or the trash can, delete it and it's gone. So now let's go ahead and make our own journal, right? Let's get started by clicking on the first button and let's choose a name to use with the sketchbook. So I'm gonna call it Sketches. Boom, there we go. Done, I want to choose the cover. So let's make it black, like a black book. And then I want the size. I'm gonna keep this one simple and do the Instagram size. Yes, why not? Boom, there we go. Hit create and voila, we have a whole new sketchbook or journal ready to go. This is awesome. This is Digital Drawing with DTM and I hope that today's tips were helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more sketchable insights. See you next time.